Hi, it's Dr. Sarah Gottfried, author of The Hormone Cure and creator of Fast Track Your Hormone Cure. Welcome to video three. First of all, thank you so much for all of your questions and comments on the last two videos. I love seeing so many of you jumping into hormone balance and doing it with so much enthusiasm. You guys totally rock. In the last video, we talked about the importance of sleep. We also covered those natural, effective ways that you can improve both your sleep quality and quantity. I gave you a free sleep log, and if you missed that video, go check it out. It's got some super good advice on improving the quality of your sleep. In the Gottfried Protocol, I give you a quiz to see which of your hormones are out of whack. This quiz is a vital first step to figuring out what your hormonal problems are. Today, I wanna to share with you another great hormone balancing opportunity, and that is to do some of my favorite lab tests three tests to be exact. This is a chance for you to figure out exactly what your personal hormone levels are. And once you get those test results, you'll know the areas that need the most improvement and where you can start applying the Gottfried protocol for maximum results. Are you ready? Now, don't worry, there's no studying involved. There's no wrong answers with these tests. And don't worry about taking notes. I've done all the work for you by providing the download that you see on this page, which lists all of the lab tests I'll be talking about. Now, you heard me quote Lord Kelvin before, what you measure improves. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Are you ready? So test number one is a blood panel. This is one of the tests I most commonly recommend, and it requires that you go visit your clinician. I find that traditional doctors speak the language of blood tests. Most of these doctors aren't so into hormone tests of your urine. If you ask for a saliva test, forget about it. So we wanna, we wanna start gently and ask for a hormone blood test. And if your doctor doesn't think you need these tests, ask for it anyway. Remember, you're in charge of your health, own it. Don't let that clinician take your power away from you. And if they refuse, find another doctor. But if they're willing, here's what I want you to ask for. Morning cortisol, full thyroid panel, not just TSH, but T4, free T3, maybe reverse T3, DHEA. If you're overweight, leptin, insulin, growth hormone. If you're infertile, ask about bioavailable and total testosterone, free testosterone, day 21 progesterone, fasting insulin, and glucose. If your doctor won't order these tests, another thing that you can do is go to a do-it-yourself website. Let me give you a couple of them. One is mymedlab.com. Another is canaryclub.org. I like both of these places because they allow you to take control, to take the power into your own hands. And if you do the Canary Club, I really love their blood spot testing because the, I find that that dried hormone, when it's on a little a little piece of paper, it's actually really stable. It's a good way to measure some of these tiny little hormones. Now test number two is something called the omega test. And this is really good if you're moody or if you can't figure out if omega-3s are actually doing anything for you or maybe you're going to a chiropractor because you've got aches and pains all the time. If that's true for you, this is a great test. Another situation where I think it's helpful is if you're between the ages of 35 and 50 and you're struggling with your attention with your focus, with your memory. So we know that omega-3s really move the needle in terms of lowering your cortisol and also increasing lean body mass. You wanna know whether you're getting enough and you can do that by ordering the omega-3 test. Test number three is the complete hormone profile from Genova. Now, if your doctor is the more open-minded type, check out this test. It looks at your adrenal glands. It looks at both the short and the long-term way that your adrenals are working. It looks at your estrogen metabolism. It looks at your tendency toward breast cancer or osteoporosis. I don't wanna give you a lot of the details here, but check out that test. You gotta order it with a clinician. If you wanna learn more, I want you to download the PDF that's on this page so that you can learn all of these needle movers. I really find that they're effective when it comes to measuring your hormone levels. And if you're completely confused about all of this, one thing you can do is you can go to my website at thehormonecurebook.com 
and look for some of the practitioners who are trained to deliver the hormone cure. I've got physicians, coaches, nutritionists, pharmacists, all types of folks who can work with you on this material and activate your hormone cure. So today we're talking about a few truly important tests, how to figure out the root cause of your health issues and how to really dial it in, the cure, deeper than what you did in the quiz in our first video. Once you know the areas that are causing the most harm, the most wear and tear, and you start to treat those, you'll be amazed at how your body starts to return to balance. It's like Bruno Mars. You may have felt locked out of heaven, but not anymore. The secret is to use these tests and proceed in a way that's meaningful, that best combines your values, your genetic tendencies, your current lifestyle, and your blind spots. Most of us have at least one blind spot. These tests identify the blind spots. They also help you figure out where you need to get motivated. They show you where you need to target so that nothing is stopping you. I am so excited for you. You know, yes, you could start just with the quiz that I gave you, but I want to strengthen your resolve. I want you to really understand how to find the solutions for your imbalanced hormones. I don't want you the kind of be in the kind of balance my hormones plan. I want you to knock this out. I want you to get your cure. These are the tests and the strategies that are going to really help you step into hormone balance. So you can work slowly and methodically. You can also fast track it. But what I want ultimately is for you to feel your most vital. I'm a mother. I've got a medical practice and a family and I've got yoga to teach. I know what it's like to be a busy woman. I know that lifestyle is not easy to manage, but I also want you to feel your healthiest, your happiest, and not go to that place of, oh my gosh, this is going to cost me so much money, because these tests are actually not outrageously expensive. It turns out that they help you prevent healthcare costs in the future. And I really think you need to trust me on this one. What I've found is that most of my patients use these tests as a catalyst that really gets them rolling on their hormone cure. Almost immediately, they change their lifestyle, their diet, they feel more vibrant. It's enchanting to know where you are with your hormones. Now, you might be saying, okay, I get it. And I would say, right on, let's get started. But if you also feel like you need some more information, go to my website at thehormonecurebook.com where you can check out the rest of my programs. You can buy my book for yourself and others. You can sign up for my newsletters. You can also watch the web jam that I'm doing soon with JJ Virgin, a good friend of mine, who's interviewing me on the top three ways that you can fast track your hormone cure, which goes way beyond these videos that you've been watching. It's where I start to share the strategies that I use in my private clients. Now, I've loved hanging out with all of you wonderful people. I want you to remember to post your questions and comments and let me know how all of this is going for you. Thank you again for watching all of these training videos and also check your inbox to learn more about how to fast track your hormone cure.